Today we will become familiar with ethno style and find out where it originates from. In what fashion trends is the ethno style distinguished in modern collections? Why did the Ukrainian Vishivanka or embroidered shirt become a worldwide trend? We will visit Ukrainian designers who create their collections in the ethno style and will also learn how to quickly and correctly make a trendy look in ethno style, depending on what clothing is in your wardrobe. It is difficult to imagine a lighter, more colorful and distinctive style than ethno. It reflects centuries-old cultures and traditions of different peoples. Any clothing consisting of national costumes, prints or motifs is already considered ethnic. The ethno style appeared on the fashion Olympus due to the subculture of the hippies, which imitated the peoples of the ancient Orient, Moroccans, American Indians and Gypsies. In their images, they used many bright accessories made from natural materials and clothing with motley patterns, Indian moccasins, Mexican ponchos, Moroccan tunics, colorful gypsy skirts, accessories made of beads and much more. In turn, fashion designers with famous worldwide brand names drew inspiration in novelties of the street style. Soon the history of fashion took on new bright trends. One of the first fashion designers who turned to the ethno style was Yves Saint Laurent. The designer's collection drew serious criticism among high society, other fashion designers and the press. But after some time, his collections with elements of the ethno style were highly appreciated. Later, the eminent fashion designers Kenzo Takada and Jean-Paul Gaultier appealed to this style. The collection of the letter are accompanied by the ethno style to this day. Today it is difficult to imagine modern fashion without ethno. Indeed, no fashion show can do without ethnic elements. Ethno style is very versatile. It can be manifested in its classical version using traditional elements of the culture of a particular people or open up in a completely new way, taking into account modern trends in combination with other styles. Designers very often turn to this style and draw inspiration from it to embody their creative fantasies through its prism. Ethnic is something traditional that exists and thrives in every culture. Anna Varava, former editor-in-chief of a fashion magazine, she is engaged in promoting Ukrainian fashion to the international level, interacting with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine and with external institutions in the sphere of culture and fashion. Every culture is very interesting, deep, diverse, and these national characteristics are the foundations of the ethno style. Ethno style is a specific style that appeals to our origins. It's a style that designers all around the world truly like. Ukrainian designer Alona Serebrova stands behind the origins of fashion creation in Ukraine. Here, work is a bold and complex mixture of styles with the use of ethnic elements of different nationalities in their modern interpretation. The main features of the brand are originality, individuality, handwork, non-standard cuts and, of course, top quality. The ethno style is a style to which so many designers, including myself, turn to. It came to us from our ancestors, and there are a lot of interesting, attractive features and nuances in it. It's a cut, it's an ornament. This is a field of boundless dreams for a fashion designer and an infinite search for beauty and perfection. Diversity of cultures entails many directions of ethnos. Even in her student years, designer Alona Serebrova turned to the origins of ethnic to find some kind of creative inspiration. When we started at the Institute for a Fashion Designer, we even had a separate specialty in ethno styles. And the collection of 2006 are already made about Ecuador, because I was shocked by their culture. The creation of designer collections can be inspired by anything. They can draw the inspiration from everywhere, from works of art to fashion, on the streets of any given city in the world, from going to the store to traveling, from legendary personalities to simply interesting people. Designers are people who accumulate information in themselves, but when the information reaches some critical level, already breaks out of you, and then you already understand what style you were looking for. Fashion designers began to show increased interest in the ethno style more than a hundred years ago, but today it has gained new momentum.
этностиль, я думаю, что он... I think that ethno style is inherent in very many designers, and it is used very much to the point in their collections. If every designer's collection is considered in detail, one can definitely see certain patterns and threads from different ethnic cultures. Over the past few years, designers have shown considerable interest in the national attire of Ukrainians. In the last collections of many world fashion designers, elements of Ukrainian embroidered costume, national ornaments and patterns are used. The Ukrainian Vyshevanka embroidered shirt has become one of the main trends of the season. Fashion for the 70s, it was before, but the very concept, the very word Vyshevanka is of course our merit. And in the situation that happened in our country, of course it all moved in order to learn what it is. In fact, this is a very beautiful word, Vyshevanka. Mihaila Lipakov has for many years been engaged in fashion management. Specifically, he managed fashion companies for the sale of clothing, footwear and accessories of the premium segment. He is the founder of the conceptual trading platform Ethno Fashion, on which specially designed capsule Ethno collections of the most progressive Ukrainian designers are presented. In all regions of Ukraine, and not only Ukraine, ethnic heritage has always been given its dues and tributes. In general, the 70s have long been in the trends and fashion show catwalks all over the world, but Ukraine, without doubt, gave this trend impetus and strengthened it. The world is always looking for something new. First, our translators are also looking for something new, because they are interested in some new cultures. Secondly, the revolution of dignity, of course, drew a great deal of attention to Ukraine. And thanks to this, people around the world took note of art and fashion industries. And our art is very versatile and very beautiful. And even more so, Ukrainian embroidered works are very well known and very popular around the world in general. Our ethnic elements are in such high demand in the world that even stars of Hollywood are donning those very same Vyshevankas while strutting down the red carpet in Cannes. If on the weeks of fashion in Paris and Milan we can see not only our compatriots in Ukrainian national dresses, this means that there is a huge support of Ukraine all over the world, and many behind-the-scenes people gab about this and spread the word about our beautiful Ukrainian embroidered shirts. The philosophy of Alona Serebrova's brand is built on the distinctive individuality and boldness of the manifestations of design solutions. In each of my collections, I am looking for some constructive moments, features and details, and I introduce ethno-style and ethno-cuts. In the mass concept, of course, after the revolution, the ethno-topic reached the front page of many publications, and many designers rushed to try their hand at that. Only those who put their soul in it succeeded. And for them, the fact that it became a trend was not at all surprising. They constantly worked in this direction. I have a lot of techniques, and one of them I call Rezanka, because it's done by cutting. This is a very specific technique, which requires a lot of manual labor. Prints are very different. These are ornaments all over the world. My Ukrainian embroidery is different, it's a cross, but the ornament that I make on my dresses is very recognizable, because I invented it myself, I designed it myself, I drew it myself, and made it myself. Myself. But it remains within the confines of traditional Ukrainian embroidery.
It all depends on the imagination of the designer and how he or she can adapt these elements, which they see in the surrounding world and in their culture, and connect to fashion and put it on a piece of cloth. It will probably be some kind of stylization of the collection. This can also be attributed to the ethno style. It all depends on the creativity and how creators see ethno in the context of their collection. In the creation of her collections, the fashion designer often refers to the ethnicity of different cultures and, of course, uses her native Ukrainian ethnos. Here are the things from the collection that I consider timeless. It does not have time. It is untimely, because it has already become a classic from the brand Sarabrova. The basis is the Ukrainian handkerchief, the fabric of a Ukrainian handkerchief. The ornament of Ukrainian kerchief is taken. A unique technique that I developed, the so-called rezanka. This is a linear cut, which gives the texture of velvet velour. It makes a very beautiful and voluminous object. The same print in which the coat is made is transferred to a beautiful Italian silk. This very recognizable figure is printed on all Ukrainian scarves, rose and mallow. These are all elements of Ukrainian ornaments. And there is the crown. Jackets are also made by this technique, what I call the Rezanka technique. And what is unique about this scarf is the meeting of two cultures, Turkish or Namin and our Ukrainian motive. And they mix very well, they are good friends. Embroidery. This is also an element of Slavic culture, Ukrainian culture. But in this case, embroidery is developed by our brand. This is the embroidery that characterizes the brand of Serebrova. It is made by a cross. There are many layers of the cross, four to eight crosses in one stroke. This is very important, because this gives the embroidery a very rich and bulky look. I also try very hard to apply our Ukrainian culture in modern, traditional clothing. There is nothing more traditional than denim. And this this is a vivid example of this, when the depth of culture meets completely up-to-date trends. Today in our column Create Your Own Look, we show how it is possible within one ethno style to change its direction with the help of ornaments. First, take a look into your wardrobe and pick up a wide free cut tunic, dress of any length. We shall use it for a basis. Then, a very important component is accessories, which will determine the direction of the ethno style. Each type has a characteristic set of recognizable signs. Create an image of the Greek ethno style used waist belts pendants, earrings, and bracelets, bandages, hairpins, and diadems. Choose accessories in white, blue, gold, and pastel colors. All these details together create the image of the Greek goddess. The Egyptian ethnic image in the adornments is highlighted by yellow, gold, white, blue, and turquoise colors. The accessories used are necklaces from metal plates, tiaras, rings with jewels, a voluminous necklace and waistbands. And now you're an Egyptian queen! Close to all Ukrainians, the Slavic line comes to life in red and terracotta, interspersed with green, white, black, blue and gold colors. Ornaments depicting animals and plants are typical for Slavic adornments. We're talking about rings, earrings, pendants with beads and wooden bracelets, as well as important accessories, feminine scarves and delicate wreaths mostly with vegetative themes. Each direction of the ethno style corresponds to the original hairstyle and makeup. Talking about footwear, stop at sandals or boat shoes. Thus, paying attention to detail and placing the right accent in your bow, you will create a unique and memorable image. 
fashion industry in Ukraine is constantly moving forward. It is in step with the times and continues to develop. In the next issues, we will continue to introduce you to Ukrainian fashion, even more about Ukrainian fashion, more advice about fashion, interviews with top designers of the country, behind the scenes of the Ukrainian fashion industry, and much more. Exactly one week from now on UA TV, we will tell the world about fashionable Ukraine in the program Gloss, so stay tuned and in vogue.